We are following the latest developments out of Blue Springs, where a lockdown at three schools has been lifted. And that lockdown was put in place at Lucy Franklin Elementary, James Lewis Elementary, and Brittany Hill Middle School after a burglary not far down the road. KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney joins us live from Blue Springs, and she spoke with one man who saw the suspects as they ran off. Caroline? That's right, Brad, I did. And we know that three of the people who allegedly broke into this house near an elementary school are now in custody. And we spoke to the man who shot at the suspects as they ran away. Alan Quigley says he saw a man knocking on windows of this house this morning. And an hour later, he saw three men running out of the house. This is in the area of Northwest Sherwood and Northwest Third Street here in Blue Springs. When investigators arrived, they found nearly 10 shell casings in the driveway of Quigley's house. He tells us it was just instinct to fire his gun. You know, hey, I, I heard a noise, I heard a pop. I think someone's been shot. I don't know what someone's going on. I think my neighbor might be in there. I just saw some guys. And then so I ran downstairs and then I shot. Um, I was trying to hit him in the legs. Now, Quigley says he went inside that house with two other neighbors here. The three of them wanted to make sure that the owner of this house was not hurt. During the break in, the suspects took two guns. One was an AK-47 and one was a 9 millimeter. Now, the AK-47 was found by police not long afterward, and we are learning to work out exactly a little bit more about what happened because we know that the suspects went from here to Grain Valley. I'll have more on that coming up at 6. Live in Blue Springs, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News. Boy, a wild day for those kids and parents. Caroline, thank you. And many parents were left wondering about their children's safety during those lockdowns. They were worried, and they could only wait until those lockdowns were lifted. KCTV 5's Rudy Harper is live from James Lewis Elementary School, one of the schools that was affected. Rudy. And Ellen, that crime occurred about a half a mile from this elementary school. Resource officers were out front as students were released today. One parent says he received an email from the school explaining, explaining why the elementary school and other schools in the area were placed on lockdown. He says getting information about the situation calmed his nerves. It's a little scary anytime, you, you know, with the crazy things going on in the world. You know, anytime you hear about a school on lockdown, God forbid, you know, something's happening. But... I felt, you know, pretty secure that everything was okay. That parent also tells me he was able to speak with his daughter at school. He also says he appreciates the school district and police taking every precaution to ensure student safety. Live in Blue Springs, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News.